Good morning guys and welcome back to the Lit Shop. So today I'm going to be working on my car, we're going to prepare the engine bay for the 1J. We're going to put the harness back in and clean some stuff up, put the brake master back in. And it's kind of a late start because we had a party yesterday and it got kind of late and it looks like I got beat up. But that's not the case, it was a good party. So I'm just going to relax a little bit, work on my car, but not relax too much because we, almost, we only have one month to finish it and take it to France. So yeah, it's... <laughs> It's a race against the clock, but we're gonna make it. And actually, before we're gonna start on my car, I need to clean the outside of the shop because I spilled some diff oil and somebody is pretty mad that I spilled it because it smells bad. So I'm gonna clean it and then we're gonna start on my car. He is the one that got mad because it smells bad. Yeah. He's angry. Yeah. He's dangerous. I'm gonna hurry, clean it fast. So while that is all flushing away, I'm gonna be starting on taking off the masking paint from painting the bay. And it still looks amazing. I'm so happy I painted the bay. I shaved it, there are no holes left, only the holes we need. So I'm gonna take off the masking tape and then we can start putting back together the engine bay so that it is ready for the 1J, like I already said, but I don't care, I'm excited as hell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Little update time, the car is down again. I got the sway bar in and I painted it white. We got the clutch cylinder in and I got the little assortments of washers and nuts and I'm really happy I got those because I can use all new nuts and washers to make it look good. Steering shaft is painted black. I removed all the tape and right now the brake booster is painted. It's smooth, it's nice, it's clean. So that's good, the motor mounts are painted and I'm gonna start on the harness. I'm gonna try to fit it in there and yeah, that's gonna take a while. I don't know if I'm gonna make a time lapse or if I'm just gonna do it and update you guys afterwards because well, the wiring harness is gonna be a lot of work. So I think I'm gonna be doing that for a few hours, maybe till it's dark, maybe even finish it tomorrow. I don't know, I'll update you guys in between, but I'm just gonna get Get going again, get started because, well, time is running out. Alright, so I'm about to start my biggest nightmare and that is lengthening the engine harness loom in the middle there so that it is longer. Because I made the core support removable for easy engine installment and stuff like that. So I want to run the loom over there on the lower part. So I need to make it longer because, well, you need more length. And then I want the fuse boxes under there and under there and I'm gonna make a little tub of plastic so it's not getting any water or stuff from the road. But yeah, it's gonna be a lot of work to clean up the loom and make sure that everything still works but also removing uh, connectors that I don't need anymore to make it more clean. And it always is less work than you think, I guess. You always work up to not wanting to do it because it's a lot of work and then you're busy, you're in the flow, you're just going and going and then it goes actually kind of fast. So I don't know how long it's gonna take for me to clean up the loom, but I think I'm gonna start with finding out which connector goes where because I forgot to tag it when I took it out. So it's gonna take me a little bit longer to find out what it's for and what it's doing. So when I found out what everything is for, I can start taking things out that I don't need anymore and then I can clean up the rest of the loom that is left and then cut it in the middle and lengthen every little wire in there and there's like 80 in that part so yeah that's gonna take the most of my time yeah so yeah that's what I'm gonna do that's what I'm gonna start and I don't know when I'm gonna pick you guys back up but that will be when I figured some stuff out so yeah see you in a bit I was about to fix the first rubbing spot where I rubbed through 
some wires with my tire and that's not what you want because water will get in there and it's gonna rust and it already corroded a little bit so that's not a good connection anymore I'm gonna change some wires in here but first I want to test fit it on the car because the fuse box is gonna be down there and it used to be up there we rub through around here and that means if we're gonna cut and fix some wires anyway I want to measure the loom if it's long enough and otherwise we can already put a piece in between so the loom will run in this little nice bent spot <laughs> and then we can put some clips in here for zip ties to hold it in place so then it runs up here and it goes down here and I don't know how we're gonna fix it to the car over here maybe put a zip tie thing here because then you don't see the rivet on the other side and then go down maybe put a zip tie over here so that it goes over there I think we're gonna put the fuse box over here so we still have room for the intercooler piping or we put it all the way up front and do the intercooler piping in the back I don't know yet but it's gonna be around here there are gonna be a lot of wires here and then we can measure the wiring loom when it goes on the bottom piece how much we need to lengthen that and do the same thing on the other side so that's the plan right now and I'm gonna start measuring and make sure if I need to lengthen this piece and with how much all right, it looks like we don't need to make it any longer because if I put it in the right spot over there and lay it over here, then this is kind of hard with one hand, but then the fuse box, box actually can make it quite easily up there and the wires are all long enough. So I'm just gonna fix the rubbing spot, tape it in, make this section good and done and maybe even lengthen the uh, wire for the wiper motor because normally there was a hole right there but I filled it so it was maybe the best choice I don't know but I'm gonna try to fit it through here and make it to the motor and maybe drill a new hole for some wires or for the connector to come out I don't actually know yet I'm just gonna figure that out fix that and I'll see you guys when that's done. And it's fixed. Mean. So I made the wire for the wiper motor longer and I wrapped it in this nice sleeve. So it looks good, although you're never really gonna see it. But I think it should be long enough and it should be able to go through there and then through the other one then come out here and then it is gonna be between the rubber here and maybe I'm gonna cut out a little spot and then it can connect into the motor so that should look really good because then you're just gonna see a little wire going like that and there's no wires here yet there may be some wires in the future but for now that one is tucked away so yeah that was probably an hour and a half of work fixing the two <laughs> wires on there and making that one longer I'm so excited to do the rest now all right so this is how far I've got I didn't use these plugs I think they are for ABS or something like that that is usually in that corner so I taped it up and this is gonna live in the square hole over there because I think I can just put it in there then this one is for the wiper motor this one goes inside and then we have a smooth one with some connectors in there that I didn't use so they can stay in there I'm not gonna cut it out I'm not gonna take anything out of the harness because yeah I'm not using it and that's just a lot more work so <laughs> these ones are gonna live inside the tape this one I did use for some power and ground for the ECU, I guess. So that one goes back inside with a new loom that I'm gonna make for the ECU. And then we got the fuse box with the battery connector for the positive of the battery that is gonna come from there also from the back of the car. And then we got a few connectors for the alternator. And I don't know, was it just the alternator? I think. Yeah, this was just the alternator. So 
those ones are gonna live up there too because then I can run the lines underneath to the alternator and then we got the connectors for my lights for the right side and then we got the big piece that goes under the core support to the other side so this is actually where I'm gonna cut it and then we're gonna measure it and then I'm gonna spend some hours on lengthening all the wires in there so that's the next step it's the biggest step we're halfway sort of so that's good by the way look how good my brake booster looks right now it's so shiny and black Mint. so I think that I'm way more lucky than I thought because normally your harness goes through here and then it needs to go from here over and that is actually almost the same amount of length distance than when you put it down here so as you can see I need to take this plastic 90 off so I can tuck it real nice and I'm gonna tuck it differently on the front I guess I don't really know how I'm gonna do it yet but see how much we got left and that's where the second fuse box is gonna go so I don't need to lengthen them even to make it really pretty I may need to shorten them not gonna do that just gonna leave it like this little excess is never a wrong thing so yeah it's it's actually easier and less work than I thought I already made myself a little soldering table with all the stuff I needed and a place to put the right wiring loom down but I don't need it I was about to cut it and then I thought maybe I should check first if it fits and it fits so I'm really happy about that because that's oh man this is way less work than I thought so now I just need to take off all the old plastic all the old tape put new one on put the wiring loom on then I'm done. Gee. All right. <laughs> well, sometimes you just get lucky. I needed some luck. I had enough bad luck. I needed some luck and this is lucky. I'm happy. Yeah. All right. Motivation is back. Let's go. It's just past midnight and I think I'm going to call it a day for today, but we're not done yet. We did get quite far. We start here where it comes out of the car, out of the cabin, and then we go up and we got the unused plugs and the little box. I don't really know what it does, but I think it's connected to the wiper motor. Then we got the cable that I made longer for the wiper motor. Just need to put it in there, but I don't know if I need to take it off again. So I'm just gonna leave it right now like it is. So we got the little zip tie thingies with some rivets in there to hold it on this little edge so we're not gonna rub through and I think, maybe need to take off this little thing, but I think that the fender still fits. I need to test it before I put it all together for the final assembly, but it's nice tied up there and then we got the plug for the ECU that can go along here back into the car. And then we got the unused plugs here. I don't want to cut them out. I just want to leave them there. And then this fits really nice. So right here we got the loom for lighting. And then the rest of the loom tucks under here. I can fasten it here. And then I just need to think about if I want to cut this little edge over here. Come on, focus. Now I still need to think about if I want to cut this little part out so we can put the loom up there and then it shouldn't touch the headlight but I don't know if this is enough clearance so maybe we need to cut that but then it fits nice and tight in here then we're gonna run it on top of the bottom support so that it is not under the support and can touch the ground or anything but it's still out of the way for the radiator and oil coolers or anything like that so then it it's running up there and then I think we need to do the same thing over here cut this little corner out and then we can go up here with the rest of the loom and then same as the other side it's gonna run along here and then up on the edge and inside the car so 
we got quite far i'm really happy with the end result that we got right now and we're gonna finish the rest another day because tomorrow i'm gonna be finishing the one jz and i don't know if i'm gonna be finished tomorrow building the engine i hope i am and i don't know if that video is before this one or after this one because everything is kind of a chaos right now i need to finish a lot of stuff and i don't i have 27 days i have 27 days to finish this car and it's even less when you're watching this so it's kind of a chaos and there's not going to be a lot of videos but there's going to be a lot of stuff in every video and i still want to film everything but i can't go in depth like i would with other stuff and in the previous videos because i just don't have that much time but well for today we're done i think i'm gonna resume the wiring loom stuff on monday because tomorrow is sunday and then i'm gonna finish the engine and that's gonna take the rest of my day and then i need to still make the thumbnail for the last video because i haven't had time for that so yeah it's really busy but i'll see you guys in a second and for me that's gonna be two days two days later the engine uh, bay loom is getting quite far it's nicely tucked and i'm really happy with how it looks but i need to finish it and i need to make some progress and talking about progress today a company here in my hometown made the caliper brackets for me so we can fit the rear calipers well actually the front calipers on the rear on some mercedes brake discs but yeah those are finished all right little update i got the main loom in place and over here it's just on the edge and it's nice and tucked nice and tight and then under here it runs underneath the little headlight bucket thingy and i still got room for my intercooler piping then i cut out a little notch over here and put some rubber on it so it's not going to rub through the loom and then it goes really tight over here over the front support and then the same thing on this side little rubber cut it out and then we run over here the same as on the other side just underneath here and then we go straight up over the edge and back inside so the loom is on place and i'm really happy how it turned out and the engine bay is looking really good with my brand new c32 brake booster no brake master cylinder and a newly painted brake booster i cleaned up my clutch slave cil clutch master cylinder damn it's late and i painted all this stuff earlier it's all looking nice and clean and i'm really excited for it and i also not a little update i painted the inside of the spots that i welded over there as well so that's looking good and that's where i'm gonna end it for this video it's been a little update video a bit all little wiring loom videos but i think by the time that i finish this video and make the thumbnail and upload it i already finished the engine i hope so that's gonna be the next one i think i don't know either way like comment subscribe down below please do because we can reach way more people if we subscribe we like etc etc and i think we can make a really cool channel so yeah Subscribe and I'll see you guys at the next one and don't forget always keep smiling And just look at all the junk that we got out of there There was a lot of old plastic and tape and just So much different kinds of tape on there to the alternator alternator <coughs>